Hello, stock traders. I hope all of you had a good trading day today. Today, I finished absolutely even. I had some good stocks that I sold, but I had some things kind of drag me down. And so today, the market finished a little bit down. And so finishing above the market makes me feel good. I always like to outdo the market. That's always what I'm trying to do to outperform the S&P 500 is my goal. Month to date, I'm still at a 1.10% gain. So very small gain this month, but really hoping that this market turns around. It's definitely showing signs. So hopefully we get that great price price action coming soon and later on in this video I'm going to give you what to look for for that price action and where I see it going and how it reacted today. So today I have two new stocks for you so you will want to stay till the end of the video because there was two stocks from the top seven that I decided to part ways with today. Year to date personally I'm at a 66.05 percent gain so so far so good but looking for more. But before we get started if you could do me a favor please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing and turning on those bell notifications so you get notified when one of these videos comes out. Also, please reach out to me. I want to hear from you. Please reach out in the comment section down below. If you want my opinion about a stock, you know that's a good place to do it. I will be happy to take a look at it. Or if you have any comments, of course, about this video, I would love to talk with you and get the conversation going. All right, so let's start by reviewing. And so the two stocks that I have to replace is going to be my number six pick and my number two pick. Sold both of those today. So number seven was SAFE, S-A-F-E. Today it finished up 0.65%. The number six pick was S-C-Y-X that has a lot of potential for FDA approval, but I sold it because it became overbought on today's levels. So sold for a 20.26% gain. Hopefully you have been following this pick since I started talking about it a few weeks ago, and you made great gains with it also, but it was time Time to move on. Now I will look to possibly re-enter if they get FDA approval. That is a huge thing and so for this particular company we could see gigantic upside if they get FDA approval. So that is one thing to watch. I'm going to be watching it for a day trade if and when that should happen on June 1st or before. Number five is VNRX. Today it finished down 0.28%. Number four is RPRX finished down 1.23%. So both those picks did not do well. Uh, number three, however, had a bounce back day. So number three is LFMD. It finished up 3.11%. That is probably on news of more insider activity. So insiders continue to load. And so this is a great stock to have and to hold. I am wondering to see if we get even more insider activity coming here soon. It seems there's about three or four officers that are buying up shares every couple of days. So I don't know why you would sell this one, but there were some people, uh, it got up to about 10% up and and I guess some people felt like that was a great e exit point. Uh, not so if the insider activity continues, you know, it's been extremely steady. And so I'm going to hold my number two pick LIFE sold for a very small 1.41% gain. Not a bad three day investment, you know, um, to make 1% in three days. Eh, it's okay. You know, this one just did not perform. It did not really move with insider activity, but I'm happy to get out of it with a gain. Number one pick continues not to perform. So AUTL today finished down 2.67%. I really think this is going to be a big stock for us. We just have to be patient for it to turn around. All right, well, let's get to the market and take a look at the state of the market and the SPY and how everything is going. Okay, so today, the price action that we got today, we had a struggle to get above 421. So that is not exactly what I like to see. It's nice to see it up just a tiny bit in aftermarket, boy, the smallest of, of margins. And we had some selling pressure at market close, a $1 billion close and balance to the sales side on the SPY at close. And so that really affected power hour. It really kind of held it back. I think we would have done really well if we wouldn't have just had some big seller. I mean, there was, there was some huge sellers in there and uh, that came through there at the end of the day. But, you know, it not breaking 421 is a little bit of a concern, but we are so far away from where we need to be concerned about this. That is the 399 level. At 399, I'm selling it all. 
Uh, but I don't think that that is going to happen. I think that we're going to see all new all time highs. I know we got rejected this level, but we should see a nice little curl up and hopefully uh, bounce back off of previous resistance and move upwards. Uh, the previous resistance now acts as support and it should be right here at this level. You can see that we got up to it twice and then didn't hit it. Then finally uh, got above it in pre-market, but then finished below it and then finally got above it. Now it should be support and should help us to move upward. So I'd like to see this moving forward. So I'm not concerned at all. I think that we should be just fine. Okay, so let's take a look at the VIX. That is the fear indicator. It's important to pay attention to the VIX. The higher the VIX goes, the more we have to worry about the market. So today, overall, they finished up 2.39%. What a volatile day. Uh, but it, uh, it started off the day at 20.55, it looks like. Uh, anyway, yeah, this looks strange. Just like it hasn't updated or something here. Let me kind of zoom out here a little bit. Uh, but anyway, uh, it being at 1840, uh, I'm not too concerned. Um, that must be where it's at in after hours. Uh, not too concerned. Fear is not overtaking the market at this particular moment, in my opinion. Okay, so let's get to the two new picks. This is going to be a quick video today. Uh, I got a lot going on, and so I just kind of wanted to cover everything quickly. All right, the very first one is MGTA. This one is brand new, Magenta Therapeutics. And as you can see here, we've had a MACD Golden Cross down here on the bottom, so that is looking good. This is on the daily chart. And also, the analysts really like this at $19.25 average target price. They really like it. My average in it is $11.56. Called it out early this morning. Got in it too soon. Should have waited for a dip. Uh, I am currently down 1.12% in it, but I'm not too worried, and I'm going to show you why. Okay, so here's what's going on and here's why I like it. They have phase two data coming up. That is on June 4th is the soonest that that can be, anywhere from June 4th to June 8th. And it looks like it's the ASCO meeting and phase data run up for, mul for multiple myeloma. Anyway, they got a drug coming up for approval. It's a very significant drug and we have a high analyst target. All the things you look for in a phase data run up, this could be a nice run up. I'm expecting this to do well. Okay, so that is pick number, that replaces, that is number six now in the top seven. And brand new to list, number two is CLRB. Okay, so CLRB has phase two data presented at the ASCO meeting also on June 4th. Okay, so they have had a, an abstract noted 100% overall response rate. Not very many to choose from, but still, that is kind of big. And so, uh, like that, definitely. Analysts have an average target price on this guy. Let's get to analysts on this and take a look. This is CLRB. Analysts have an average target price of $5.98. So that is a really high analyst target. And my average in it is $1.52 if I round to the nearest penny. I'm somewhere in the middle of that. You can see that this is reacting very positive to news and that we've just had that turnaround and it's moving upwards. But um, I think it has a lot to do with that note that was put in there about a 100% response rate. So that is huge. So expecting a nice run up to data. This should be really, really good. And today this had a really good day. Um, since calling this out is up 3.29%. And so I'm expecting this to do all very well all the way up to the date. So those are two new stocks to take advantage of and should help you uh, with the market. Hopefully you've made money with those two that I sold earlier today. And if you haven't um, and you're still holding, I think SCYX is one that you should still be up in because when I first called it out, I mean, it is way above that price target. Uh, life, another story, you might, uh, it'll depend upon where that's at. But uh, you should make money on these next two, especially getting in now. You're getting in at the beginning before the big run. I am wishing all of you the best on the stock market. Anyway, good luck out there and Raytoven out.